a lot of people in New Age circles notice they have a facade and then what they decide to do, instead of going through their injured self, which is all about experiencing, right, the negative emotions that are inside of the injured self so that they can be released, instead of choosing to do that, most people get to about there and put a wall up and call that bliss. And that's what happens with almost every new age spirituality that I've ever examined. They try to think they've developed and think they're all blissed out, but as soon as you press one of their buttons, bang, they're back into either facade or yelling, screaming, they're in their injured self. Does that make sense? And that's an indication that the real injuries have yet to be released. Right? And if you've got to meditate for four hours a day to maintain that state, then it's not a real state. The reality is when you, have, when you have cleared away the injured self, you will not have to meditate for one minute a day. You will be naturally loving in all circumstances, in all situations, and feel naturally calm in all circumstances, in all situations, without having to meditate a single moment of the day. Does that make sense? You won't have to engage yourself in a practice. The engagement of a practice is usually done to avoid the injury. Right. And if you examine, many of you have been involved in New Age type spiritual pursuits in the past. You, when you look back on those particular pursuits, you can see that a lot of the times you engage the process to avoid something, right? rather than engaging the process to, to actually feel it. Right. And it's only through the feeling of emotion that you can release it. Now, I can give you an example of that, which is a real example, and that is any child... You notice when any child falls over, it has this initial reaction of feeling the pain, having a big cry, and then sometimes if you've let them have the cry properly, five minutes later, what are they doing? Exactly the same thing again. A lot of the times, like, they don't, there's no fear in them whatsoever about what happened. All right? Now, how did they get from that space, the place of like feeling the pain and then going through the pain and then out the other side, they did it by experiencing the emotion. Now what we learn to do, and we're often taught to do this, is we're taught to not experience the emotion. Right? Now in the process of not experiencing the emotion, we can fool ourselves into thinking it no longer exists, but the reality is it gets stored into our injured experience. Your soul is like a great big storage container, storing another one, storing another one, storing another one, and every emotion you don't actually feel and release will be stored. Now, for most of us in our childhood, that means we had a lot stored because our parents many, very often shut down the experience of most emotions. So our injured self builds over our lifetime, builds, 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 into such a point that we get to the point almost where we can't even control it anymore, that how much is stored, like it just starts spilling out. And this is why, you know, oftentimes the older we get, the grumpier we get, because our injured self is now just spilling out all the time. We can't, it's so much stored in there, some of it's got to come out sometime. So, you know, it starts coming out. And, uh, and when a person passes frequently, it just starts coming out quite, quite a lot, like where their injured self is quite, quite obvious. And the fact that your body is decaying is a sign about your injured self still having dominance. So the reality is if our bodies were, uh, if our injured self didn't have dominance and we were in our original self, none of us would age beyond 25. All right? None of us would get fat. None of us would put on weight. None of us would get so thin that we're you know, emaciated. None of those things would occur. Because God created the real self to have complete control in love over both bodies, the spiritual and physical bodies. So, so, so the fact that we're even aging is, is an indication that we're not allowing ourselves to feel some of our injured self. Does that make sense? So I meet very many people who are quite aged who say, Ah, oh, yes, I know this and I know that and I know this and I know that. I'm going, I'm sorry, you don't know all those things. Because if you knew all of those things, you wouldn't look 
90, you would look 25, right? You, that's how you would look. So it's just a facade that you've got going on, thinking that you know all of these things, an intellectual process. Once you fully engage the truth from God's perspective, what you'll do is you'll go through the injured self, and as a result of letting go the causes of all of our body issues and pains and suffering and so forth, you'll get to your real self. And as that occurs, different things in your system, your body system physically, emotionally, will all be cured. And they'll be cured permanently. And you'll get to the point eventually, whether it's on earth or in the spirit world, you'll get to the point eventually, if you engage the process, where you start engaging your real self at one with God, and you feel young, vibrant, and you'll always have your will engaged. You, it will not be a numbing of your desires. All of your desires will be explosive in their nature, but they'll all be in harmony with God's love, all of them. So God wants us all to learn how to use or have all of our desires, but have them all in harmony with love. So it's not a process of tuning out of desire, it's a process of understanding your desires. Initially, many of our desires are driven by our facade or our injuries, but we release all of those things, and eventually we get to the stage where all of our desires are in complete harmony with God's love. Then there's, no thing, no, there's nothing to be afraid of, is there, in that place, because you're never going to act out of harmony with love once you're in that place. And also your physical form and your spiritual body and all those things will be perfectly in alignment. You won't have to go and get any therapy of any kind. You won't have to go to a doctor ever. You won't have injuries after injuries occurring. You won't have accidents even, actually. No one, no one in the celestial spheres has a single accident. Right? So if they were living on Earth, they'd be driving a car, never have an accident. <laughs> right? And they might not be driving a car, of course, either. But uh, they'll never have an accident. And that's the beauty of the universe God's created us. Now, obviously, at the start of the process, we don't have faith in any of what, of what I've just said, generally. And this is why we need to start building one upon the other. Yeah. Does that help answer your question? Excellent. Yeah. Very comprehensive answer. <laughs> <All right. laughs> Taking it all in.